There's always one question that comes to my mind. Do you need an expensive camera to take great photos? I'm Lodvi Nienbach and it's time for another video. First time here, go hit that subscribe button. When it comes to photography, there's one thing that people always say. It's not the camera that takes the picture, it's the photographer that holds the camera. And that's true. It takes a lot of skills to be able to take a great photo. Why do people buy expensive gear? Let's figure it out. Let's begin with talking about my first camera. This one, actually. My first real camera. It's a Canon EOS 1000D with a kit lens. Bought it from a friend of mine. Thought it would come in handy. Oh damn, I would take a lot of cool pictures with this. Used it for a bit. I brought it with me when I was in Canada. I wasn't that involved in taking photos. I liked creating stuff, but I didn't really like, I didn't bring out the camera too much. I actually have a like really cool photo from New York and Manhattan that I actually took with this one. We had a little bit of a layover between flights so we decided to go around and see see some places in new york in new york hey i'm walking no, i'm not, not gonna do that but we decided to see some places i actually took a really cool photo i think it's on my instagram i found it a few years later when i actually have some knowledge about photography and i decided to do some editing on it and it turned out really great from this camera and i posted it and i actually end up doing kind of well 2019 i found this photo it took me roughly five years before the photo actually came out and it was taken with i would say an, a cheap camera by an amateur from this camera a few years went by i found my g5 that i'm using now awesome camera awesome camera i actually found it during a job uh, that I was doing it was supposed to be thrown away i thought why not i can sell it and get some money from it brought it home standing here right now with that camera so apparently i didn't sell it i started taking photos with it i liked it i like having that creative thought to do something with with the camera especially with the photo and after a few months i upgraded it to this one the g9 right now it's it's i have my 7200 lens on it this camera can take good pictures why are people buying expensive gear then and why i'm using it why do i buy my gear when apparently this camera here can take good enough pictures it actually comes down to the quality it all depends on what you're doing with your photo i i'm not 100 sure about the tech in this one i will remember it it actually shoot raw but it's the quality of the image how much you can do with the photo in post so if you have a camera that only shoots jpeg it can be kind of tough editing after how to put it it's like a bike if you want to learn to ride a bike you need a bike it doesn't matter which one as long as you have a bike you you can learn so if you learn taking photos with this one and you take great photos with a cheap camera but if you trying have it as a business or trying to get it as a business it would definitely help having a camera with the shoots raw that have all that technology inside the camera to help you in post so it comes down to the quality of the images that you get out of the camera People are still using analog cameras. They print out the photos. They like to have those film rolls. They take amazing photos with it. The camera is not taking a photo, but if you want to be professional, let's say you shoot for a bigger brand, you shoot photos for a company or you film for a company, like you want every little detail to be perfect. This won't give you that. It's perfect to take nice photos, great photos, but it won't give you the details. Damn, I don't even know if this camera gives you, like if you're really doing like real professional shooting for bigger brands like Apple, Nike. This camera is not even enough. This is a cheap camera compared with those really expensive camera bodies that they use to like shoot commercial photos with. And also a little bit of a, like a, if you're interested in the tech, I'm interested in the tech and I like having gear that in my mind will help me develop. So if I buy a new drone, I don't go for the most expensive one. Uh, I have a thought about what I can do with the drone. Same thing goes with a lens. What can I do with this lens? How can I get better and how can I use it in a business? So back to the question, does the camera make you a better photographer? The camera doesn't make you a better photographer, but it helps, gives you an advantage, gives you better quality. It makes life easier for you in post. The photo itself 
won't be better but if you have the knowledge to begin with if you have the creative flow it will enhance that if you're gonna run a marathon it's easier to have shoes on than running barefoot you have a better chance competing but that doesn't mean you can put a pair of shoes on and you just go run a marathon you still need to train that's a conclusion i get the camera doesn't make you a better photographer but it helps you compete with others if you have the base knowledge and it gives you that better quality so I think I got everything I wanted to say. Summer's just around the corner and we will finally get our Jeep out of the garage. So if you like overlanding, you should go check out my videos about that from last summer. There will be more adventures coming soon. If you're more into photography, you should go check out my videos that surrounding that topic instead. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next one. Hold up.